how does a crossover check valve circuit works? Often call a crossover check valve system or crossover uh, pilot check valves. The idea is to lock a cylinder into position. So let's say you have a hydraulic cylinder over here. You have a hydraulic cylinder. And you have a load on this cylinder. And for whatever reason, external forces, uh, that load may want to pull the cylinder in one direction or the other one. And you don't want that load to be pulling the cylinder. You don't want the cylinder to be moving because the load may tend to go in one way or another, right? So you have a directional control valve over here and you only want the cylinder to move when you tell it to, was the directional control valve. So let's say you have an open center valve, open center valve, this is pressure, you got tank, reservoir, This is A, this is B. So you want to connect the cylinder to the directional control valve. So there it is. Uh, the way to do it is by putting check valves over here. You have a check valve. You have one check valve connected to the cylinder. And you have another check valve over here. As in the meter out circuit. Right? And then you connect the check valves connected to A and you connect it to B. Now that's a that's a double check valve. And you see if when you shift the valve in this direction, pressure gets connected to A, A goes through the cylinder, the cylinder tries to extend, but you have this check valve is closed and the oil doesn't go anywhere. So in order for, for it to move, you need a pilot. You need a pilot from this valve to go into this valve over here. And now when you have pressure going to A, you open this valve and you have a pilot line opening this other valve as well, holding it open for as long as you have pressure in this line, as long as you have flow coming through, pushing the load forward, keeping this, this check valve open. When this check valve is open over here, uh, flow goes pro from P to A, extend the cylinder coming in the other direction, goes to port B, port B is connected to tank, and, and the, uh, the oil goes back to the reservoir, the cylinder extends. Now you do it on the other direction, you need the same thing. Now you need a pilot to go from, from this valve to the other valve. So let's say you draw a pilot over here, and you connect it right there. Now, when you have pressure going to B, it opens the release valve, retract the cylinder, pressure goes, it, will, it tries to retract the cylinder, but then you also have the pilot line going from B connected to, to, the, um, uh, to the valve on, on port A, it opens, allows this valve to stay open for as long as you have pressure on, on this line opens the valve, now allows the cylinder to retract, and then on the B position, uh, A is connected to the reservoir, A, A connected to tank, oil uh, discharges to the reservoir, and it allows the cylinder to retract. Now, the cylinder only moves when you give it a signal, either coming from A or B in this position. On external forces that this load might want to move, if this load wants to move for whatever reason in either direction, 
the cylinder cannot move because let's say you're pushing in this you're pushing in this direction over here the cylinder tries to retract but there's no oil the, the oil gets blocked by the check valve and you don't have a pilot pressure line to keep that valve open there's nothing coming in that direction if you try to move it in the other direction if the load tries to pull the cylinder in the other direction the cylinder tries to extend but there's no oil coming out because it's blocked by the re by the check valve it's blocked by the check valve and you don't have a, a pilot pressure line to keep it open so it stays in in a locked position it does not move and that is what a, a crossover check valve does it, it locks the cylinder unless you give it a signal for it to move on on the cylinder so uh, that is a crossover check valve or a pilot a pilot check valve circuit that you have a locking mechanism for the uh, for the hydraulic cylinder so this is the video for today if you need any if you have any questions about hydraulics uh, industrial components or you can always uh, visit our website send us an email and this is the video for today thank you very much for your attention and have a good day bye bye